today we are going to be discussing how to use that MetaTrader platform. So without wasting much of your time, let us get rolling. Alright, so this is how your MetaTrader platform will look like after you log into your account. I've showed you how to log into your account, so I'm not going to cover that today. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is to add your your currency page, the currency that you are going to be trading, right? We said they are we all agreed that currencies are traded in pairs. As you can see we have JPP, USD, USD, JPY, Old Card, Old Chief. So if you want to add more, right? Maybe you want to you are trade also old GBP, then you are going to click right here. Now if I may put my highlighter so that you can follow along sure now you can follow along all right so if you click here right and then you select any one that you want to trade it might be old nzd and then you can uh place it here and you can be able to even shift by clicking on each and every one of them so that you can analyze each one if you want to delete it let's say you want to delete uh gbp usd you will right click on in on gbp usd and click close you can even delete usdjpy right click on it and click close so that's how you can add and that's how you can remove currency uh, pairs now one thing that you i want you to understand is the fact that for the sake of these tutorials remember we say that we are only going to be focusing on trading currency pairs that involve the eight major currencies right so you will find that old card we have card and we have old they are all major currencies we have old we have chief they are all major currencies we have even some like um we have uh, something like uh old um nkd uh that is the north korean uh north korean something uh, let me check here we have got uh N N O K. That is the the no gain uh, corona we don't trade uh, those ones we are only focusing on trading current pairs uh, that consist of uh, for example old card old chief the reason why we don't trade those exotic currencies or those exotic current pairs is because they are not that volatile we want something that is volatile that can quickly make us money or that can quickly enable us make money all right so that now that i've showed you that we can even add more you will find that here we are only limited to old card old shift or gbp or jby on the old in the d it's all old uh pairs suppose i want to add a uh, usd card right so you find that in order for usd card to appear here you have to click right here on this uh symbol this or you press control plus u right so if i click uh right here this window is going to open up now you find that if i want to add let's say usd card i will scroll down to where usd card is usd card and right here it is so if i select usd card and then i come here where it says show symbol and then i go back here if i click show symbol then i say okay and then i go back here you will find that usd card is now appearing again if i no longer want it to be shown i will uh, click on show symbol again and then i will say hide symbol if i come back and i say okay if i come back here you will see usd card is no longer there so that's how you can add even more current space that are not being shown on this drop down list all right now let's say if you want to zoom in and out of these candlesticks you can click here where it says plus here or you can just uh, press your plus on your keyboard and it will zoom in if you want to zoom out you can just click your minus on your keyboard or you can click here and then it will zoom out now if you want to show all these uh, windows for these four for these four current pairs then i will click here with these boxes or i will just place or oh, that's sorry 
or just press out and R. So if I press out and R, then this window is going to be shown. It's going to show all currencies that are being shown here. Now, this collection of currencies that are being shown here is called a profile. So we, you can rename your profile. Let's say you want to have a profile that is consisting of old pairs only. So you add all of them. You have old card, you have old chief, old GBP, old NZT. You can even add uh, old JPY, right? If I again I click out in R, it will be organized so that you can see all of them, right? So this is what we are calling a profile. We can even rename the profile if we click on file, right? And then we select on uh, profile. So you can see that now it's being. Uh, it's being called a what uh, a default right you can even uh, rename it if you click here right uh, you can even see even if you click here you can see it's again uh, being named as a default so maybe you want again to go to something like a British pound you can see now uh, yes it's being uh, consisting of what of British you can even remove it right let's say i'm uh, back to default and i now want to uh, remove it remove british pound i can come here where it says remove and i select british pound and then i want and then i can uh, delete it so you can see that even uh, when i see click on next it will show me the next profile right here which is uh, euro right now remember we said that you can even rename it so let's say i want to rename it to another name these uh these europeans and i now want to call them maybe i want to call them uh, mine right so you can see where it says save or save as. if i just click on save it's just going to save it as it is but if i click on save as then i can rename uh to something like mine as i was telling you in if I click OK, right, you can see now it's now being called mine. So I will know that uh, my profile, which is called mine, consists of euro pairs, right? So let me go back to default and I now want to save this as old pairs. So I will click here and say save as, sorry, I click save as and then I will say old pairs and I click OK. So I now know that these are my old pairs. Now, one thing that I can also do is to uh, is to change the background. I can change the background of this. Let's say I don't like a uh, black, this black background on this one. So I will right click anywhere on this chart and then I will go where it says properties. Or I can just press F8 in this window will show up so i will then choose if i go to colors you see where it says background right so i can choose maybe i want yellow background or maybe i want something like white or i want uh, something like gray this is light slate gray or i can just type gray and you will see the gray background will be shown now i can even change these colors which are these colors you can see now they're in white this is the foreground so i can make it uh black i can make it black or i can make it uh white or i can make it red right it's all up to you so i'm just going to go with white even the uh the grid right the grid are these lines th these lines that you are seeing i can make them uh, red as you can see or i can make them um, black right now the bar up and the bar down so the bar up is the one that is showing uh, momentum to the upside right if i am to zoom in sorry let me first say okay you can see that it's a uh, it, it has changed so if i'm to zoom in you can see that my bar up is this one and my bar down is this one let's say i don't want i don't like these colors and i want my bar up to be represented by a full green bar and then my bar down to be represented by a red bar so what i will do again i'll press f8 right and then this will pop up i'll just right click and select properties now 
if i uh, go on again if i go to my properties again for my bar up right i can change now this bar up bar down represent the casing of the bar look what i'm saying if i just change where it says bar up to something like uh white you will see that the only thing that is changing is the outer casing of the bar but if i also want the inner section of the bar to also be white then i will select here where it says book and and i'll also make it white and it is completely white so remember i said i'm going to go with a uh, green so i will select uh not dark green um, i just want green and then my bar up again i'm going to make it green right and then my bar down i said i'm going to go with red and then my beer candle i'm just going to go with red if i click on ok you will again see that uh we now have this one now i don't like these grid lines normally i don't use them so i normally uh click on none and then they don't appear or you can make them the same color as that of your background so if i again say gray you won't see them right so if i click ok you also can see those uh grid lines but one thing that i normally do is i want some a pointer that was here to appear so what i normally do is i click on properties and then i set my grid to black and then when i come here where it says show i can then disable where it says show grid and you see my pointer will be left out so you will see that my only the grid will be deleted but the pointer here remains and then if i'm to go back to my properties all right you can even see i can uh, sh say show the ask price line or turn off the bid price line if you don't know what bid price or ask price is then you need to go back and watch the previous lesson so that you can fully understand what bid or ask price is now if i click ok i can even change the colors of the bid and ask price let me go back to property then to colors you see here where it says the bid price line maybe i want to make it yellow and then the ask price line i want to make it uh something like dark blue if i click ok now you see that the ask price line is always above the bid price line why because we said the ask price is always higher than the bid price right so now that is done we can also add lines let's say you're analyzing your charts and you want to draw a trend line if i click here you say draw trend line and then i select where i want to draw it from i left click and then i drag it to where i want to draw it up to and then i leave it there i can even make it thicker if i right click right if i just right click a single click on it and then i click on properties right i can change the thickness of it right i can even make it more thicker depending with what you like if i click ok you see it's now much more thicker i can even change its color right here uh, to make it something like uh, black i can even and say ok i can even change uh, the style of the line right so to change the style of the line we have to go back to the thinnest line so that i can be able to change how it uh, the style of it i can go with this one and you see it's now it's now no longer a continuous line but it's breaking along the way i can even delete it if i right click and then i select delete i just delete that i can even put a, a vertical line right so if i click here right and then where i want to put the vertical line if i want to place it here i will then left click and then my line will be there again even right click and even the properties change it to something like this if i click ok you will see it's no longer a continuous line if i again right click and then make it a little bit thicker you find that is if you make it more thicker then you only have to go with the continuous line that's the only style you can go with and then i select okay 
can see now my, my line is here and I can even move it around if I left click on it and then start dragging it I can move it, I can move it around or I can even uh, if I no longer want to move it around I will just double click on it and then those two boxes that were appearing will disappear and if I want if I try to move it I can no longer move it but I am now moving the chart I'm now moving together if i now want to change to shift its position i will right i will double click on it and then these two boxes will appear and then i can drag it to where i want it to to be now let's say i want to add something like a triangle or maybe a rectangle and as you can see right here it's not being shown here so what i will do is i will go to where it says insert objects and then I will say shapes and then I'll select my rectangle and then I will uh, say drag from where I want it to appear up to where I want it uh, from where I want it to appear up to where I want it uh, to end right if I, I can even change uh, the properties if I double click on any of the boxes that you are seeing these three boxes then I can no longer move it but if I double click then I can move uh, the box if I double click and then I click on just one edge then I can change the size of it but if I just want to move the box then I have to go with the middle this middle little box here I can even change the width properties uh, thickness not the width and I say okay even the color properties again to something like dark blue if i click ok i can even fill this box if i don't want to it to appear like this i go back to properties and then i select on draw object is a uh, background sorry uh, properties and then i go to parameters yes yes then i select on fill if I select OK, now you can see that it's now filled. So if I place it here, you can see that the box is now filled. Let's say I just want to analyze this portion. So I will mark it with my rectangle like this. Mark it with my rectangle like this. Right? And then if I am to change my time frames, I will just change my time frame knowing that I am going to analyze this box. So that is it about editing objects right object they vary from lines from channels from fibonacci elliots waves shapes even arrows uh, or even text let's say i want to add some text uh here i will select the text label here and then i select where i want the text to appear and then let's say i want my name to appear i will just write cletus if i click ok sorry oh no it's it's the description that you have to change not the name uh, forgive me for that cletus if i click ok you can now see that my name is now appearing and if i am moving uh the chat it is moving along with my name right now if i want the chat not to move along with my name again i will click on insect objects and then come here where it says graphical and then instead of going with the text i will now go with the label and then the description i will call it cletus if i click ok now if i move the chart you will find that the name here is not staying on one place right uh it's not it's not moving with the chart it's uh it's it's not stationary right on where i had placed it right i can even delete all of the objects that i was inserting whenever you insert an object right all these objects you can all delete them at once by right clicking on your charts and going where it says indicators list and then uh, selecting uh, what you want to delete right and then I click on uh, delete 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 and all objects that way once here you can see they are now gone now for easy access i can even add objects that are not appearing uh, here so if i right click on these dots that you are seeing uh, here right if i am to focus more on that so that you can see these dots that are appearing here and then if i am to right click and then i come here where it says customize right you will find that 
here I can add more. Let's say I want my rectangle to appear here and then I click on insert. You find that the rectangle is now there. If I now want even the uh, what else? The arrowed uh, object to appear here and then I select insect. You can see that if I am then I can easily then select this arrowed line and then I can place it where I want it to appear. So I will delete that. All right. Now the other thing that I wanted to show you is that you can change. Maybe you don't want to view price action using candlesticks. You want to use uh, your, your line chart. You have to use these uh, buttons. But for some case, maybe they are not appearing right here. Then you have to go all the way to these uh, three dots. If I am to refocus again, you will find these three dots. If I right click on these three dots, I click on customize, right? I to go back to my highlighter, right? And then if they were not appearing, you are going to find them here. But since they are appearing, you are going to find them on selected buttons. So if I am to remove them, let's say I remove the bar chart, you can see it's no longer there. If I can even remove the line chart, remove, you can see it's no longer there. So if I now want to add them back, I will come back here and look for them. Here's the bar chart, insert. Here's the line chart, insert. And then now they are back here. Now I will go back to my candlesticks. I like analyzing price action using candlesticks. Now you can even change switch on time frames, right? Let these candlesticks. Each candlestick is representing how price action reacted in one hour. Because this is a one hour chart. As you can see, it says old card H1. So this is a one hour chart so if i want to change it to something like um, m15 uh, time frame then i will right click and then select on time frames and then i can select m15 minutes so each candlestick is now showing what happened in 15 minutes i can even add those time frame stems here if I need to right click on these three dots again and then I select where it says time frames, I select it and you can see these time frames, they are now appearing. I can even customize how I want these time frames to appear. If I don't want the M5 to appear there, I will just remove it and you can see it's no longer there. Even the M1, I can remove it. Maybe I just want the M15, the H1, and the H4, so I will remove uh, any other time frame from this. Uh, window you can see we are now left with only the m5 the h1 and the h4 time frame maybe you want it to, for ease access you want it these time frames to be right uh, next to where you're analyzing your charts right so i will just drag them right i left click on where it says this time frame from these arrows and then i drag them to where i want these time frames to appear so you can see now my time frames are now right here so maybe i want to be switching time frames i analyze here by draw my box of reference i want to be analyzing uh, price action only for where where i've drawn this box so i, I go to my h1 time frame you find that uh, this is uh, what was happening in the same period if I had to go to H4. Now you can even see that the box is now looking as if it's smaller. Why? It's because these candlesticks, they are representing, they each is representing a four hour time period. So if I am to go back to F15, you will see more candles than if you were showing uh, my H4 time frame. If, if I no longer want to be switching time frames, I can just drag this box and put it back here and then you will find that it will go back here and then delete this uh, box all right so what else should i show i think i have covered uh everything that you need to know or everything that is essential you can even play around yourself and see what else you need to say all right all right before i forget you also want to be able to see how much money you have in your trading account is here opening trades so you press ctrl plus t and then you'll see here this window will pop up you see your balance your equity and your free margin so remember i, have, I haven't opened any trade on this account so that's why you are fine here seeing that my balance is not changed even my, my equity is not changing 
but let's say i opened uh, a, a position i know it's it's beyond the scope of this lesson but I, uh, for just for interest sake and then i place buy in other words i am buying old card and then i accept the terms and conditions and i click ok if i click buy right you will see that i have a loss of uh, 20 cents currently there's a loss of 20 cents this loss is due to the difference between the bid price and the what and the ask price that's why every time you open a position you start with a loss that loss is the difference between the bid and the ask price that you are paying to the what to the market maker or to the broker all right so you can see that uh i have opened a place i'm not going to discuss what a lot size is that's what you're seeing as volume here if i can even increase it to something like 10 lots so that if i click buy you can see that the lot is now even much more bigger so if i'm to go back here you see my balance is still two thousand dollars but my equity is now eleven thousand seven hundred ninety one. why it's because the balance will only be updated when i close this position so if i close this position you can see i closed a loss and then my balance is going to decrease if i close again this is a loss my balance is going to continue decreasing then we go to history right here you can see this is the history of the trades that i took you can even see it is showing to us uh, those deposits that we did remember we deposited two thousand more into this demo account when you opened it it gave ten thousand dollars if you were following along in the uh, last lesson when we talked about how to open an account with excess we chopped up about two thousand dollars and you can see the history is showing here now the losses that we get today they are showing here if we made a profit then you will see something uh like a plus 207.94 so you can see we have got a net loss of 208.16 which is being said profit minus 208.16 even right here again togo maybe you want to see the news you want to analyze news this concerning odsd you see odsd retreats to 0. 7400 this is the exchange rate for ODSD. so it's being said that it is retreating right to 0 0.7400 and remains on trend. so if i double click i can even read more if i double click and then i can read more on the news i can even uh, look for usd inr if i'm to trade this currency pay i double click and again read more about the news about what's happening so that i can make my trading decisions uh after reading these news right even uh, what else the articles you can see we have got articles all these articles they have to do with what these currencies will react so you can just read uh, these news they are there for ease of for ease of access all right uh, what else should i show you i think i have showed you everything that is necessary for you to understand um, yeah, okay. We can even add indicators, right? So an indicator is something like a moving average. So if I place on a set and then indicators, let's say I want to place a moving average, you can find it under trend and then select moving average. So I will assign a period of the moving average. In this case, I'll go with 10 method simple. You can even use exponential or linear weighted. I will just go with simple apply to maybe you want to apply to low apply to close i but i'll just go with close and then the style the color of the moving average i'm going to go with black and then the style right if i click ok you will find that now this is my moving average so it's an indicator i can even add more indicators right maybe i want to now add a standard deviation uh, this is the style and then I want it to be this thick if I click OK now this is the standard deviation right so these indicators they help us in analyzing uh, charts if you're having trouble with analyzing price action you can use the help of these indicators to be able to fully make uh, better trading decisions so let's say i found that these these moving averages they are the only ones that i want to use and i want to save them so i can save them as a template so if i click on template here and then i say save template and then i will call them uh, clitus right i will call them clitus 
and then I say save you will find that the next time let's say I'm, I go back to old chief and then I right click and then I select templates and then I select creators then this template automatically is going to be shown on old chief even if I'm to go to old uh, GBP and then I right click template and then I select creators you can see even the background the candles the, everything that we have customized uh, for this um, type of template will then be shown on everything that we apply to you can even uh, delete that template if I select remove template and then I select on uh, creators then the template is going to be uh, deleted right so yes the template has been deleted but it's not automatically updated on uh, these ones so maybe we want to change you find that if I want to use glitters again it's no longer appearing now I, there are these preset templates whenever you install your metal platform you will find these ones already installed so I let's say Bolinga Benz you find that you have got uh, this template already installed for you I uh, can even again remove it if you don't want it right so the next time you want to use it it will no longer appear here. so I think I have covered everything uh, that you need to know as far as this lesson is concerned until then I will see you